So, hello, Mike. Hey, how's it going? We are here at the uh, synthesizers.com system yes, in front of this beautiful, large format uh, synthesizers.com system. So, I MU format. We're happy to be here. This is our first time at NAMM or really at any trade show. The company's been around for 25 years, and we're excited to show people in person what these massive, awesome machines are capable of and kind of what they look like and what they feel like, and more importantly, what they sound like. So. Um, so talk talk to me about the uh, the history of dot uh, com because obviously like like you said this is the first trade show but yeah. you've been they've been around so for twenty five years. dot com was founded by Roger Eric back in two thousand or two thousand or nineteen ninety nine is when he started making his first modules and over the course of the next twenty five years has continued to develop the MU line and along that way other companies have kind of come along and 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 offered awesome modules in the MU format. Um, the company changed ownership in about three years ago, and that's how I started to get involved with it. And so now we're completely um, dedicated and passionate about keeping Roger's designs alive and also uh, increasing and, 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 and pushing forward the boundaries of what MU is and working with other manufacturers and other designers in order to, to, to continue to to increase the capacity, increase awareness of this beautiful, awesome format. There's something very, very special about stepping up in front of an MU system. Um, just the tactile interaction that you get when you're turning big knobs. You're not having to squint to look at menus. There's no menu diving. It's all right there for you. And it sounds beautiful. And just the ability to interact with these things is really where it's at for MU. So um, MU, obviously, it is its own format. So. Do, does that mean that you can uh, integrate uh, modules from .com and like Moon Modular and everything? It's all the same kind of system? Yep, that's, that's absolutely correct. So any MU module has got what's referred to colloquially as the .com power header, which is, means that it plugs into our power harnesses, the power harnesses that we put in these systems. Other than that, uh, as long as the module is running on the same power standard and the same size, it can... Uh, plug in right next to any one of the doc, any module in a dot com system can plug into any other MU module. So there's other companies out there, SSL and STG and CoreSynth and Moon Modular and all these companies that are fantastic, making awesome things in the MU format, and they can all coexist in the same systems. So what uh, kind of what got you into it? How did how did you man how did you end up here? <laughs> well, that's a that's a long story. Um, I graduated. Uh, from college with an electrical engineering degree and then did what all good electrical engineers do. I went and hopped on a tour bus and became a professional audio engineer for the next 15 years. Um, so long story short, I got off the road and was looking for an opportunity to continue with music and continue with technology, which is a confluence of two things that I'm passionate about. And an opportunity popped up to work at a company like Synthesizers.com and I hopped on it. So. That was, I've been working for the company for about two and a half years now, and I'm in charge of engineering, in charge of making sure that we're building things the exact same way that Roger designed them in the exact same manufacturing techniques and everything. And there's a lot of modules that, we, that we're in charge of. Um, so it's been a blast. It's been fantastic. It's a, it's, something, it's, a, it's a dream job to be able to play with synthesizers all day and work with customers and answer questions and just really support the product that I'm really passionate about. So should we hear a bit of it now? So you've got a little bit of a sure. patch going, there's a little right? bit of a patch going. We can just turn it up. Let me know if we're overdriving your input there. So it's a pretty simple standard patch. It's a sequencer here being the speed of the sequencer is being driven by this oscillator, which is a VCO but can operate in the LFO range. So we can speed it up or we can slow it down. This is the Q119 sequential controller, which is a sequential controller from synthesizers.com and through that it's running through a quantizer bank in order to snap to semitone values and it's a single voice here um, so out of the quantizer comes into the one volt per octave input of the oscillator out of the oscillator is a pulse output coming into the state variable filter the q107 out of that goes into the signal input of the vca and now out of also out of the sequential controller you have the gate output 
That gate output is coming out here, generating a gate every time there's a step. That gate signal is coming into a mold, being split to two separate Q109 envelope generators. This Q109 envelope generator is controlling the amplitude of the VCA. This Q109 envelope generator is controlling the cutoff frequency of the filter. So it's just a lot of fun to sit here and turn knobs and see what happens. Very simple patch. We try to keep it simple so that folks can walk up and kind of wrap their head around really what's going on. Obviously with a system this size, you know, we're only using about eight of these modules, but the, the patches can get quite complex and we want to keep them a little bit simpler. So, um, are they only available direct from you guys at the moment, or what, what, how, what so do people do if they want a, if they want a, the, a system? The, the easiest way and the quickest way to get it is to come direct through us. We have, uh, we have done some distrib distribution in the past through Noisebug, and that's probably something that we'll continue to do uh, here and there for a handful of the modules that we sell. But we do offer fulfillment services straight from synthesizers.com, so the easiest way to go, go about getting one of our systems or any one of our modules or controllers or anything else is to just hop onto synthesizers.com and order it straight from the site or send me an email and we can work out a, a custom system or any number of things. And is there is there more? Are there like is there a lot more modules coming in the future? Or we we, have, we, we we do. So with without without letting the cat out of the bag, there are five five to six more modules that are in the pipeline at different stages of prototyping right now. Some of them are almost ready to go. Some of them require a little bit more time in the oven before they're going to come out. But that's one of the one of the funner parts of my job is being able to work on the new product development. And there, I, I promise there are some new things coming and they're exciting. Brilliant. Well, Mike, thank you very much for speaking to us. Thank you. And we'll see you soon. Absolutely. Thank you, guys.